Well, hi there everyone. Today we're gonna begin with some melon and pumpkin farms, village breeders and so on and so forth. We're gonna see what we're gonna finish today and what kinds of projects are still waiting for us in the future. Well then, let's begin, shall we? So, we said that we are gonna begin with the pumpkin and melon farm. So, let's go to the place where we're gonna begin. This is the place. As you can see, I looked up a chunk that's not too near or too far away from the center of the village and I marked me uh, the chunk. So I'm gonna firstly destroy this building, flatten the area and then we're gonna build the farm. For the farm, we've gone with the easy automatic melon and pumpkin farm from the Minecraft 10.20 tutorial and it's gonna be the farm made by Trilomes. The link is in the description. Well then, let's go right into it. In the beginning part of the cleanup, we want to have a flat area. So, we just destroy the dirt that's in the way. Then I've gone straight into the house to move it down. <laughs> like, what could I do now? I mean, it's in the way, so it has to go. Slowly but surely. Now to explain why I build the whole farm in one chunk, that's cause I want it to be loaded all the time and uh, have no problems with the minecarts uh, later down the line for the pickup system. That's the biggest reason why I wanted it to have in one chunk. So it's uh, either all loaded in or not loaded. That's the main reason. After that, when we are Done with the cleanup, we're gonna build a farm, of course, I'm gonna make some mistakes. I wanted to fill up the area too, by the way, and do a little bit of terraforming, so yeah. I need a little bit more time than I <laughs> thought I would use up, and I'm gonna make some silly mistakes too. So right now I'm digging the pit, uh, 9 by 9 I mean in the width of the before mentioned uh, trilmos, trilomes, goodness gracious, <gasps> okay, um, he has it better, how do I say it? He has a cleaner width, so if you want to follow the tutorial, go there and check it out. Well, now I'm making the holes for the redstone torches. After that, they're gonna power the power rails and gonna make the whole pickup system. After the whole pickup system is complete, we're gonna look at the chest, here is the basic list of the materials the guy had in the wheat, but in the end I'm gonna use a bit more of the redstone torches, you will see a bit later why. Well, yeah, I did a little bit of a noopsie, you're gonna see it soon. But nonetheless, I'm happy the farm is uh, finally finished uh, at the end of the week, so yeah, I do release that. I had quite a lot of fun editing this week. It was a 50 or so minute clip. In the end, I had to cut it to 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm quite proud on to myself. But I do not even want to imagine how many hours it takes for skilled editors to do all the cutting and the after effects and so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how it uh, gone out. And yeah, that's what I wanted to find out. <laughs> yeah, I have to up. I have to up. Yeah. 
Okay. I do at least I had a little bit of fun here, as you can tell. Yeah, I had to make it uh, one more wider, cause then the rails uh, wouldn't go back up. Yes, that's the point, the connecting point. Cause we want uh, to have uh, it returned back and then go up onto the pickup system, which is gonna um, automatically trigger only the hopper minecart when there are items inside. So yeah, this is the system. It's all following the tutorial. And that's it, more or less. The comparator takes the signal of the hopper, uh, the hopper uh, sends the signal to the redstone torch, and that's gonna uh, send it uh, back on uh, to the rail. That's why, yes, there goes the redstone. And the button goes up on the top, just for the cosmetic purpose, I think. Because in the end it doesn't make anything. Yep! <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment I knew I have to up. <laughs> oh god, I had a lot of fun. And that's not even all. There's uh, one more way where I... Oh, you're gonna see it a bit later. Yes, and a little mention. I'm making these videos the most because I want to get a little bit better at English. Yeah, uh, here goes the stair. I wanted to make a slab before, but I forgotten the water would go down on the rails and slow the rails. In the earlier versions of Minecraft, it would just destroy the rails. Right now, thanks God, we can use rails underwater. A little surprise. A zombie and we go again. We want to have a little bit of space for the seeds and for you know the melons and pumpkins. It's a really basic farm. The first design I don't even know where it came from. I uh, planted the seeds alternatively for the most part because it helps with the growth rate yeah and yeah i want to better my pronunciation in english so that's more or less the reason i want to talk a little bit more to get more proficient because I read a lot of stuff online and yeah, I have no problems reading, but the problem is with the articulation. And now we are gonna make it a little bit prettier around the block with some deep slate uh, tiles. Yes. As you can see, it's uh, coming along nicely. And now we are going to take some glass and uh, some lanterns, place them down like this. I mean, you can use uh, any light block you want, so it doesn't need to be lantern. The glass is the same. Yeah, the chest was in the way, so I had to move it. I mean, more or less, you just need the redstone part and you've got an automatic farm. In reality, there are um, more ways you can do that. You can make a lot more layers than this. And you can just use hoppers, but yeah... I'm not even really sure anymore. I played this game for years. And I still did such a silly mistake, no? <laughs> like this one. Yep, yep. Yep, my guy. Yep, the pistons are high. <laughs> the, 
<laughs> oh god. Well, the main reason I uh, did it is because with the hoppers they're not gonna pick up everything. Only uh, sometimes. Because with the hoppers uh, they're just gonna pick up most of the time uh, what is directly on them or at the edge. But with hopper minecarts they can take uh, whatever is uh, just right under the block. They've got a bigger pickup radius. So yeah, that's uh, the reason why we have a relay down there. Yep, right now I put down the observers facing down so when the tick rate goes off of the plants the pistons are gonna activate and voila we're gonna be harvesting pumpkins and melons but yeah uh, the main reason i even started to do this with is uh, videos is cause i wanted to uh, be a little bit more proficient uh, with the language I have no one uh, next to me to which I could talk in English. So yeah, just something more of a passion project, if you say so. And after that, yeah, we put here the red stones on the red dots. So that the signal can travel all the way. And the cosmetic blocks at the top. And we are more or less done with the farm. Yeah, so more or less that's it. And done. Our cute farm. Man pumpkin. We can check out. Nice. For real. <laughs>